Miles, the decision to take Jalen out obviously has come under great scrutiny locally and nationally. Um, the conversations mm-hmm. amongst your teammates, I mean, how do the, how do the guys feel? Uh, man, uh, if, if, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, no, nobody liked the decision. Nobody. And that's all, that's all I could say, mm-hmm. really. But um, I don't know what, what was the – who was the main person behind that decision? But um, all that, all I know is a lot of people on the team was was confused. To disrespect the effort that everyone put forward to make this season a success for the National Football League, to disrespect the game by going out there and not competing for sixty minutes and doing everything you can to help those players win, we will never do that as long as I'm the head coach of the New York Giants. The NFL, as you know, Michael, is a fraternity, and that fraternity has a code. And one aspect of that code is to handle your business and don't mind another team's business. So you know it's real out here when Joe Judge, and that was how he ended his rant. He talked about all the sacrifices that everybody around the league put forth and endured to put on 256 games in a pandemic. Joe Judge went in. Clearly, you just heard Miles Sanders at a loss. And then there were all sorts of reports, I'm sure you saw them, uh, about the outrage among the players and the coaches directed at Doug Peterson. Um, Jason Kelsey, the veteran center, among two offensive players who approached Peterson during the game, Two defensive players reportedly, according to the Philadelphia Inquirer, had to be held held back back. from approaching Peterson. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And I guess I would just say this, Michael, because it takes one to know one. I'm an overthinker. Um, And I think this is the second example that we've seen in the last calendar year, or less than a calendar year, of Eagles management overthinking. Or perhaps not thinking it all the way through. Because in an effort to be a quarterback factory, you draft a Heisman runner-up from Oklahoma and Alabama in the second round to back up your quarterback who hasn't played in the playoffs because of injury and watch another guy win the Super Bowl and take over the hearts and minds of Philadelphia as in Nick Foles. So that's the first time you didn't think something through. How do you, how do you flip a switch, Michael, mid-game? How do you look at players and expect them to flip a switch mid-game and say, hey, guys, y'all been out here busting y'all butt trying to end the season on a high note and win this game? All right, chill. That's it. Party's over. Nate Sudfeld, get in there. Because Nate deserves snaps. I'm not sure what exactly Nate Sudfeld did to deserve snaps, but I thought I was always taught from the outside looking in that it was never about one guy. It's about the team. Nobody's above the team. So why is it more important for Nate Sudfeld to get snaps versus for Jalen Hurts to get the snaps that he knows so desperately <laughs> right. needs right. to right. show what he can do as you go into this pivotal offseason? I guess I would just say in closing, Michael, I hope it was worth it. I hope the difference in the sixth and ninth pick nope. – God bless whoever number pick number six is. I pray he's a Hall of Famer for his sake and for the organization's sake because there is no walking this back. There is no taking this back. This is going to leave a mark for a while. Yeah, well, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to walk this all the way back to the beginning uh, of your commentary and say I'm going to separate it a little bit. I'm going to take Joe Judge and his outrage and his lecturing, and I'm going to shove it aside He's going to be in his silo. Uh, leave that for the tri-state area. Go ahead. Uh, talk to your Giants people in your echo chamber where you guys are all offended <laughs> and insulted by what, by what the Philadelphia Eagles did. You won six games. You won six games. So you talk about sacrifice and giving your all and all that stuff. Just win another game. Just win another game. And you're not worried do about a... Why, why are you... Why are you no. You just said you no, were going to no, inflate no. those things. No, no, no. I, I, oh, my but he God, that's is. not fair. He is. Because, that's not, well, that's well, not wait fair. A minute. Well, it's not fair to me, then. It's not fair to me 
that I had on the bump in, I'm feeling Miles Sanders, and I'm shaking my head, and Jason Kelsey, and all that stuff. And then I see this like th this this interloper, Joe Judge, come in, <laughs> messing up my vibe. So it ain't fair to me. I want him out of this conversation. Boy. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You you uh, you it does. expect it a four win? It has to do with every, it has to do with all of us. Wait a minute. You expect no. a four win Wait, team? Wait, pause. pause to save yes. you. you no, you expected people to do their jobs. No. See, well, I didn't realize we had such a fundamental disagreement about this. If the Eagles go out and it's lose. It's about Joe Judge. Do do? I should have recused myself from Joe Judge. Oh. Because I just got, you know, I got a little something. I feel a certain kind of way about him. I don't know why. It's just. In general? I, I'm i not really. Yeah, in general. I'm not really feeling him. So he doesn't like so, the sound of his voice type thing. It, it's beyond that. So anyway, I'm gonna push him aside, okay. and I'm gonna focus well, on I, the key I, issue. But, but wait, but I, but I just but wait, hold on. Before you go though, before you go, I'm, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you finish. But I, you, you're wrong about this because if the Eagles have played the game and lost, they have nobody to blame but themselves. Right. They weren't re relying on them to be better than a four-win team. They were relying on them. To just yeah. actually hey, go out yeah, and be sure. professionals, Michael. Sure. It, we're all outraged and, and, for and a reason. I know how so if they cheated the game, goes. if they cheated the game, if they if they, 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 they compromised it, okay, if they cheated the game, cheated the game. then that means yes, by extension or within that, if this is the game, if this is the game, yeah. somewhere and, and in there the is a Giants playoff. I told you, I got yeah. personal. I, it's personal. It's personal, man. It's personal. So just like I, I'm just trying can to take myself out of that, so I can get to it. Or we got to talk about it on private. Okay. I mean, it's, it, it ain't deep. It ain't. It did he, ain't. Did it he, ain't all did that he deep. Did he not call you back? I mean, what, what am I missing here? I, I ain't call him. I ain't call him. We I, I'm trying to reach out to him. Um, all right. So, but you know how this goes. Let me just one more thing on, on Joe Judge and the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> one, more thing, one, more, one more thing. One more thing. Last thing. Last one more thing. thing. Joe Judge. Yeah. This is how it goes. Hey, they cheated the game, and I can respect it if they left Jalen Hurts in there. And they didn't win the game. At least they competed, right? Yeah, that sounds good. What happens? They're in, they're in the red zone. Uh, they're a field goal away from tying yeah. the game. And on third down, Jalen Hurts throws an interception, his second interception of the game. I can't believe that they would do that. You know, <laughs> they'd be mad at that too. So stop. Let, let's not pretend you're mad because they cheated the game. You are mad at that, but. Underneath all of that, you're mad because you didn't make the playoffs. You're six and ten. You had a shot in this horrible division. You had a shot in, in, in going to the fourth quarter of the 16th game of the year. A six and ten team was at home saying, "Oh, what they go do? Oh, what, the, what what's going to happen here to get us into the playoffs?" You know how how absurd that is. How sick that is. That's a sickness in itself. But anyway, uh, let me, let's but go to anyway. Miles Sanders. <laughs> And, sure, and Jason Mike. Kelsey, okay. <laughs> okay. I agree. I agree with them. And you said it's going to be tough for for Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson done. Doug Peterson is done in Philadelphia. He cannot win that locker room back. He has he 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 crossed a threshold that there's no coming back from. He's done. Super Bowl coach, made the playoffs, all that stuff. That's in the past. He's already well, here's the thing. screwed up two quarterbacks. He's pissed off two quarterbacks. Yeah. And he made this illogical, indefensible decision in the final game of the year. So he's down in Philadelphia. As West Indian Archie said to Detroit Red, all a man has is his rep. A man's rep travels. Okay. When I say right. he can never live this down, I'm talking about his reputation. I'm talking about, mm -hmm. you know, just what the report said about. Uh, I think it was the Washington Post. There is, there's not going to be any punishment for it, but it was a bad look. You know, Doug Peterson, you know, would never pay for a meal in Philadelphia after finally delivering the Super Bowl. And maybe there's still some of that goodwill, but right now, it's just a bad look for him. It's a bad look for him as a, as a steward of the game, if I may get on my high horse, okay? Um, but you say he won't get that locker room back. There's a lot of guys in that locker room who won't be back. Whether it, Jason Kelsey may not be back. And if so, maybe not for okay. long. Zach Ertz probably won't be back. Um, that team is in transition. Carson Wentz, it, we'll see whether he's back or not. I Jalen Hurts is coming back. 
One of them is coming back, right? Jalen Hurts yeah, or Carson Jalen Hurts is coming back, and he may or may not be the quarterback because as, as, as excited as we all got about Jalen Hurts at the beginning, I don't think Jalen Hurts showed beyond a shadow of a doubt that he is the future quarterback for Philadelphia. He was better how many than Philadelphia, How many Philadelphia Eagles? Much. How many Philadelphia Eagles from the 2020 season do you think will be back in 2021? 15? 20? I don't know. But what I okay, do know is that it's, what I do it's know for him, is that it's if 20 he, too if, many. If some if he was carrying out the code red, all right, this order came from on high. And I believe it did, because it was the plan all along to play Nate Sudfeld in week 17. And then when you have a, when you're winning the game or you have a chance to win the game, that's when you decide to pull Jalen Hurts. When if you really just didn't want to compete at all, you wouldn't have played Jalen Hurts at all. Like I'm reading this crap from sources about or oh, Hurts' his health was a consideration. Then why did he suit up at all? I was going to say you why know, did he play? He to, yeah, you know, I mean, like why did any of them play if you were if you just were going to completely mail it in? It was it was the time and the context in which they did it that doesn't taste right. It doesn't smell right. It doesn't feel right. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is if he did it for the greater good with the blessing of Jeffrey Lurie and Howie Roseman, then I don't think he's done in Philadelphia so long as he is able to win. Because if he wins the crowd, he will, he will win back that town. If he wins games, he will win back that crowd. The, the, people are forgiving. People, people are forgiving. I, I, think, I think this is something that people will remember for a long time. Yeah. And, 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 if he, and if he doesn't bounce back and start to win again and take him back to the playoffs, it will, his, his, his path, his ticket out of town is, just, is, is, is that much easier. It's that much easier to justify getting rid of him. And it'll, it'll be hard for people to respect him in the same way that they once did. His credibility has been compromised. That's the problem. His reputation has been compromised. But in terms of his job status in Philadelphia, no, I, I wouldn't be so quick with that because all it takes is for them to win games with different players for him not, to be okay, back but, in the good but, graces but, but, of that Yeah, community. some different players, but you're still going to have... I'm, I, I'm, I'm being aggressive and saying out of your 53, uh, out, of your, uh, out of your 53 guys on the roster, uh, let's say uh, more than half of them go away. So you, let's say you got uh, 27 of those guys are gone. Let's say 27 guys are gone, but that's still you got 26 people who were there, and you said so looking at your all he has to do is you said all he has to do is win games. Well, here we are in January of 2021. He's got to get to September of 21, week four. Let's say that's a good sample size of, of four games. So he got to get from January to September, and he's got to keep that team focused, and he's got to like. It's not just the games. You got to earn the respect. You got to have people when you're in a room. You got to make I sure people you. are listening to you. I hear you. I hear you. Well, believe in your plan. Let's just, let's just, here's just a reminder here. Just a reminder. It's professional football. Okay. So, right. All right if you're talking about, hey, you got to have a good leader. You know, okay. But if we're talking about halftime or Saturday night in the team hotel and there's a speech to be given or, you know, Will, will, will some people maybe tune him out? Will some people question, you know, his, his, his principle, his integrity? Maybe, maybe not. But it's still on these players to do their jobs. And if he puts them in position to succeed, they're going to do their jobs. This is Obviously, not apples to apples, Michael. Trust him, but you don't trust him to put them in position to succeed. They ain't got to trust him to, to, do, to do their because job. Because he didn't do it. We didn't do they don't it have the final game of the year. Their... And everybody okay. saw it. It, it, I, I get it, Michael. We're, we're, we, we agree more than you think, but I'm just saying, when I say there's no coming back from this, I'm talking about, I just want to be clear on what I'm saying. There's certain things you do in life that change you forever. Doesn't mean you can't recover from them. Doesn't mean you can't move right. on. It just, but it's just something that just like, you can just never have that moment back. And if people see it, they may look at you differently. They may never forget it. And again, they may not talk about it as much, but it's still just this thing. This is a stain, it's a stain that just can't wash out. What I'm saying Let to you is, you. Michael, this is not this is not apples to. I'll let you meet me, but I want to throw this at you real quick. This is not apples to apples, but I do think it's similar. I do think it's similar. Just came to my head. That's why I lean back like that. Okay, it feels like everything with us, especially since given how we met and given where we both live in our careers. I guess it kind of all comes back to the Patriots. 
it's reminiscent, reminiscent of two. I thought of, I, I I know I know where you're going. You thought of lawyer lawyer Malloy. They had, oh, they had won a Super Bowl in one. Yeah. Which one I was thinking about? Which one you thought I was talking about? Malcolm Butler. No, not play, I'm talking. I'm, not playing him. Yeah, not playing him in the yeah. Super Bowl against Philadelphia. There's a, anyway. There, well, there's there's well, thank you. There's two examples. There was two examples, and a lot of people question whether Bill Belichick had lost credibility within his own locker room, and that haunted them for a while. But I'm talking about 03. I'm talking about where they had one Super Bowl 36, missed the playoffs in 02, as you know, and at the beginning of 03, cut one of the most popular players in that locker room, right, and then got blasted. By Lawyer Malloy's Buffalo Bills, and then who they lose to in week two, kind of making it all coincidental. Who they lose to in week two? Philadelphia. They, 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 they beat them. They beat them. Then they lose to. Then they start zero two that year. No, they started two no. and two. They started two and two. Right. right. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, they started two and two. But then they won the rest of the games, and the rest is history, which you well chronicle. Point being is that that looked at the time like it would, like Bill Belichick would lose the locker room. I'm not saying uh, Doug Peterson is Bill Belichick. And I am not apologizing for what he did. It's a bad look, and he deserves everything he's getting right now. The organization deserves everything they're getting right now. Will people look at him sideways now and forevermore? I think people will remember it. But to say that he's done in Philadelphia, I think it's just premature. Go ahead. Okay. That's premature. Uh, you can think that. This is where I said I'll meet you. I'll meet you here. One way he can reclaim a locker room that he has lost right now. Do you agree with me on, on Tuesday, January 5th, that he has lost the room? Do you agree? No. One I way. Mean, as, as best as best I can from, from my seat in Connecticut, yes, I do agree. <laughs> even if even it's a, a, a virtual room, if he gets on Zoom, yeah. they like, hey, you know, yeah. no cameras. <laughs> we don't want to look at you. We want you to look at us. Go ahead. What you got to say? You know, maybe we're listening. Maybe we're not. The one way he could get them back is if he comes clean, which he hasn't done yet. Mm. Is he covering for it? Okay, he's doing one of three things. He's um, flat out lying. He's lying. He's insulting our intelligence is what he's doing. Yeah, just he's lying uh, that he is that he did what he could to win the game and that he all along uh, he went he wanted to get Sudfeld into the game. He's lying because they're tanking or uh, he's got really bad judgment. He's telling the truth and he's got terrible judgment. He doesn't know what gives his chance his team a best chance the best chance to win. I would hope that's it. I would hope he just had bad judgment. That he, and and, and think that Nate Sudfeld was really the, the way to win the game? Okay. Or, and this, this goes back to, <laughs> he's lying. He is, he is covering for, which is still lying, uh, he's covering for ownership or the front office. And so he is being, he is allowing but, but himself. The, uh, uh, let a lie me, is only I'll effective if it's, a lie is only effective if anybody would buy it. Nobody, we saw it plain as day. Like, look, we yeah, we don't buy it, but no we don't know. Of, but we don't know why we don't buy it. Do we? Do we? Do we not buy it because Doug Peterson saying I need a top six pick? Is, is are we not buying it because um, it was Howie Roseman? Are we not buying it because it was Jeffrey Lord? We don't know the specifics. We know that something doesn't smell right. We know that we know that when Carson Wentz was inactive, and according to reports, people knew that the plan was to get Nate Sudfeld some reps in Week 17. Okay, um, regardless, so the wheels were already in motion to basically treat this game like a meaningless game. It's 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 just like it's not, it's not what you say is how you say it. It's like. Yeah. It's just the way that it was done. You know how I feel about the greater good, about doing the right thing for the wrong reasons. It's just the way that this was done. Clearly, something's wrong. Something was. It, it was. It, they. It, I, I guarantee you, if they were being, if you got them in a moment of honesty, they would want it back. They would want that moment back. Because again, like I said, I just don't know that it. Who was, do they I want? don't know if it was worth your credibility, huh? Who do they want at number six? <laughs> Bro, it's like I, I, I still can't get over that. Is, is there somebody? somebody to, uh, 
Is it Jamar Chase? Is it is it Micah Parsons? Is it, it Devontae like, Smith? I, I don't I don't it, know, man. I don't know. Is it because it's more what? points with the sixth pick versus the ninth pick? I have no idea. But clearly that was the plan because otherwise Carson Wentz wouldn't have been inactive. And otherwise, you wouldn't have been so hell bent on inserting Nate Sudfeld when you did. If you want to get Nate Sudfeld some snaps, get him some snaps in the first half. Get him some snaps in the second half. He would have to start the second half. If he comes clean, if he comes clean to his team and uh, he makes himself available and vulnerable to his team and says, hey, this is what happened, he's got a shot. Short of that, I think he's done. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.